Okay, so starting back in March of last year when I got my truck at 18,000 miles, I'm at 59,353 now. And uh, yeah, maintenance light on, I'm taking care of that today. Uh, just an oil change. When I got the truck, it would vibrate at 60 miles per hour. Yeah, anywhere from 55 to 65 70 so I take it back the first time and the dealership says oh your tires are probably out of balance okay well sure ended up getting new tires they're uh, TRD Pro rims off of a forerunner I bought them brand new from the dealership and I bought a brand new set of grabber, uh, general grabber tires. Nothing crazy, you know, I commute 50 miles one way to work, so nothing big knobby, nothing like that. So I get those done. Sure enough, 60 miles per hour, it still vibrates. So, I get the wheels aligned. Uh, I get a four wheel alignment. Which I don't know if four wheel alignment really applies to a truck, but any rate. Oh, traffic. I get the wheels aligned. 60 miles per hour. Vibrates. So, uh, take it back to the dealership. They say, oh, it could be your rotors that are, uh, you know, causing a pulsation, which. It's under acceleration, it's not under braking. So I said, eh, what the hell? Because I do have a little bit of a pulsation under braking, especially heavy braking. So I get the rotors cut. And it makes it a little bit nicer under some of the harder braking. But under acceleration, it's still vibrating anywhere from 55 to, we'll say 70 miles per hour. No change. Well, dealership, they don't want to do anything about it. They, they think I'm crazy. They can't replicate the problem. Go figure. But I also had another issue, too, that every time I'd hit a bump, slow speeds, usually on the rebound side of the uh, shock, I'd get a loud clank. Well, long story short, it turns out that that was the lower strut bushing in the front or shock bushing whatever you want to call it uh, the stock Bilsteins that come on these the yellow and blue I think they're like 4700s I uh, could be wrong there the bushing was collapsed and basically it was metal on metal every time it would hit at a certain you know rate it had it had to be the, the right uh, bound, uh, jounce and rebound for it to happen so I upgraded it to the Bilstein 5100s and since then haven't had an issue with the clanking noise but I still have the issue of every time I get up to you know 55 plus the steering wheel shakes the dealership of course they can't reproduce the problem or they can't find a solution. Yeah, I threaten Lemon Law, but really I don't want to get rid of my truck. I love my truck. Did a little bit of research. Turns out Toyota uses <laughs> sorry about that. Toyota uses a needle bearing in their left front inner CV. Uh, the, in the differential itself, at the end of the differential where the CV joint goes into the differential, that needle bearing has a lot of play and it causes a lot of slack and around 55 miles per hour, it loses synchronicity and it starts wobbling. Now I'm going to show you here, we're coming up to 55. There's 
steering wheel's shaking. This is what Toyota deems okay to sell to their customers, and it's no different in the newer generation, 2016 and up. Mine happens to be a 2015. And it's the same for the Tacoma and the 4Runner. Now, Toyota says that this is okay because they don't want to recall it. The real solution is a bushing. I cannot remember off the top of my head the name of the company. I'll show you in a later video. Uh, they replaced that needle bearing with a bushing. And the bushing is a way better fit. It's way tighter tolerances than their the stock Toyota crappy needle bearing, which you can have it replaced by Toyota with, the, with another crappy needle bearing. And chances are within 10 to 15,000, if that, you're gonna have the same shaking problem again. And Toyota refuses to do anything about it. They refuse to acknowledge it. And, you know, personally, I, I love Toyota. I own three Toyotas. Uh, one's a Lexus, but, you know, same thing. And I love their reliability. I love their vehicles. But I, I feel like they are really screwing their customers and they're, they're, they're gonna regret this in the long run. You know, not warrantying it or, or even acknowledging the problem or even offering a solution. So you're bas basically, you gotta go to the aftermarket uh, realm and then you're on that edge of, you know, breaking warranty in a lot of cases. So, you know, I hope this helps somebody, uh, you know, if you have a shaking problem and it, it, it's not just acceleration, it can be deceleration with the brakes. Um, it's it's kind of disgusting the way, the way they're treating their customers and, uh, you know, refusing to do it. They don't want to do the warranty work because they don't get paid on the warranty work, at least not the same as they were on, you know, as, be just like a walk-in a fresh job type deal so good luck to anybody else who has a, a Tacoma or a forerunner uh, I'll get back with you guys in the next video to show you the fix as well as the procedure to fix your Tacoma or front forerunner